guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for the pen and everything and this is a collab that I'm doing with a bunch of lovely ladies here on YouTube and Instagram and you should definitely check them out if you haven't already. We are trying to hit pan on everything in our collection that we can hit pan on. So for example a powder or a highlighter or something like that or an eyeshadow in a palette even. Just something that has pan and it's basically us trying to get some use out of our collection and rotate through it and not just finish stuff. I love to hit pan. That is actually what I mainly do on my channel I, at the moment. I have a new pan to show you guys uh, for this update. I'm really excited about it even though it's a very basic product. One empty a gold hit. Um, and then we can roll something else in. It was hard to choose a new item. It, it it was. So let me show you the empty and the progress that I have on the other products. I have hit pan on my face powder. I don't think it will be like a surprise or anything because it's a rather easy product to hit pan on because you use it all over your face and at a big surface of your face, you know. This is the W7 Flawless Face Pressed Color Correcting Mineral Powder. This is how it is looking like, and here we have it. There's actually a decent amount of pan. I think it was like last week or something that I had pan on this, and that was just a little little speck of pan. When you get closer to the pan, these dots of the color correcting part, uh, they are falling off, so I just put them into my under eye setting powder and crush them up with that powder. So this is rolling out and something else can be rolled into the project. The thing that I'm rolling in instead of the powder is going to be an eyeshadow base. I don't have any other powders <laughs> to roll in basically because I have pan on them all. So which is really exciting, don't get me wrong. But <laughs> the, then it's just highlighter blush and bronzer and eyeshadows left. So, I'm rolling in a cream eyeshadow base. It is the Neil Shore eyeshadow in soft cover. I have had this in a project before. I do think it was the whole collection project pan last year. So I have quite a dip in the product, as you can see. So yeah, hopefully I can hit pan rather soon of this on this. As you can see, the product is like down to here and the dip is quite large so hopefully I can pat on this um, in the next few months. My highlighter. This is the W7 Glow Motion Pink It Up Shimmer Highlighter. This one right here is like a pinky highlighter. I wear this almost every single day that I wear makeup. As you can see there's a huge dip in it now. Um, I do think the quite a bit to go to hit pan um, but I think I'm like halfway until I hit pan. Does that make sense? Um, but yes, the dip is huge and I'm pretty excited about it. I still love this highlighter so much so I don't mind using it but I will be very excited to roll this out in a few months. Maybe a lot. It will take me forever to finish off this highlighter entirely. There's like eight and a half gram of product in this. So it takes a lot of effort and use to just hit pen. So to finish it. Wow. <laughs> that will take a long time. Then we have my two eyeshadows that I have in this project. I have the W7 Major Matte Palette. I have a few pans in this already, but I am working on this shade right there. As you can see, there's a huge dip. I just ended my single ladies and my man matte, so I, I'm actually not using this um, consistently anymore. The only shadow that I'm using every single day, for sure, it is the matte cream, because I don't have any in my Panda palette or any of those palettes that I'm panning. And um, so I still reach for this. I don't know if I'm going to roll in another shade from this palette when I hit pan on the middle shade there. The last shadow that I have in this project is from a Too Faced, uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And it is sold the caramel that I'm trying to re hit pan on. I don't think you can see any difference. Maybe a little bit of a dip and wear in the middle there. Nothing major. But 
I'm using it. These two shades are the main crease shades that I use for my look. I don't remember what I have used today for this pink. I actually think I used Sol de Caramel. I think when I have hit pan on Sol de Caramel, I will just work on one of these two shadows to hit pan on again. I just hit pan a few weeks ago on the Creme Brulee again. And that took me like two, three uses. So I do think these are repressed as well. There's like half like kind of left in these two pans so I think that those will be easy to hit pan on as well in the fall time. I think that is my plan going forward but right now I'm just rolling in the cream shadow instead of the face powder and I think that is going to be it for this video. <laughs> I will stop rambling now and uh, I will say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and check out the other videos in this series if you haven't already. I have hit pan on a lot of stuff. Maybe I can even count it for you guys. 12 items and we started this in October. I think that is quite good and I have had a lot of uh, highlighters and blushes in this project. A few face powders so I think I have done really well and I'm actually really proud. I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video please take care. Bye! Whoa.